Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy from Van Allen Company. It's Thursday, November 1st. I'm going to go over the markets. They started out with a bang here this morning. When you look at the grain markets, they started off a little bit higher and then you came out and President Trump tweeted that he had a lengthy conversation with the president from China about trade. Uh, and then the president from China came out and kind of said that uh, he acknowledged that it's hurting China's economy, that he does want to make a trade deal or work things out that benefit both sides of things. So really, that just blew up the soybean market. You went from four higher to 26 higher, ended up settling 30 higher. Now, before that came out, we got export sales and they were dismal once again for the third week in a row on both soybeans and corn. That puts soybeans 24% behind the pace that we are typically at at that point. We have some serious fundamental problems. So although this news is very friendly on the trade talk, um, you need to get these this ball rolling on trade talks. You need to get China to come back over here and buy some beans because the fundamental numbers are very very ugly um, with soybeans being higher it pulled everything else with corn about four cents higher wheat anywhere from seven to nine cents higher cattle markets found um a little bit of support here, nothing too crazy. Exports were extremely strong this morning for both um, beef and pork. And you came in here and um, you also saw some light cash trade, which was about steady, maybe even a little bit weaker compared to last week, but it was just light trade. In Minnesota, we should see some heavier trade here tomorrow to give us a better inclination of what is to come. Pork was mixed with front months down, deferreds higher. Uh, you had very big pork exports though, so that's one thing to watch as well. We have big supply, but we also have big demand, and we need to continue to have that demand moving forward. The Dow was higher, about 200 points higher on just the talk of trade and the positive um, relations there that you could get something moving, um, something going over the next couple weeks. I do have to close with the disclaimer. Trade in futures and options involves risk of loss, and it's not suitable for all producers. Have a great day.